this is June 2021. It's only in about five feet of water, maybe eight feet, um, Long Island, Bahamas, shore dive. Grouper just looking up at me out of a hole. You can't see it good because it's dark in the hole, but I got a good head shot. It was a deadly shot, but due to the hard head on him, it was right below the eye. Um, it broke loose, but you can see it's essentially dead. But it, it took a few other shots after this, as you'll see, to, to finally land him. But he was, he was toast. Um, it's just they have such a hard head. And I couldn't get a good shot behind the gill like I like to get. So I just hit him. I was so close, I knew that it would kill him. And there was nowhere for him to go. I could see there was no deep holes for him to hide. So you can see I try to grab him here. He's got enough energy to sort of bob away, but he's, he's basically done. And that's the final shot of the head. Bring him back to my boat. This is a Paralance camera, 4K, 30 feet per second, and I zoomed in a bit. Otherwise, the footage is pretty useless as Paralance, but... This is all zoom footage. And then the last clip I'll show you slow-mo. You may be able to see the grouper in the hole, but it's very dark where I hit him. You might be able to see him looking up at me. I can't tell. But you can see at one point the spear under the eye, so it, you can see where I hit him. Here's the slow-mo version. Zoom. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, he was probably, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds, 8 pounds. I didn't weigh him or anything, but uh, good fish. And on the same day, I got a smaller grouper. It was amazing, all in shallow water. It was just very rare. Here he is rattling around in his hole, and then he pops out. You can see the spear there under his eye, and he shakes it loose, but he's, he's basically done. It was, Either I hit the optic nerve or it was in pretty much.